this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic and I'm here to share some of my 2019 planner lineup. I've so had, I've had these two planners on hold, on standby to use for 2019. Um, this one I actually, you, uh, let me take this out. This one I actually um, made this folder for and there is the template for this is available on my website. This is an A5 size that I haven't put together. That was supposed to be for Christmas, but I'll just leave it there for now. But the this little section in the front here is from my 2018 planner that kind of fell by the wayside. And I was just playing around in this, trying to decide how I want to use it for the new year. So I need to go ahead and plan start planning in it really not just the first week of the year but just to start planning in it in general so, so I wanted to come on remove the packaging and just let you have a look at what I have um, the reason that I chose this planner which is this is the front is because it is a neutral planner I am a vertical planner as well so I wanted something vertical and neutral. So this is the one I picked out. This will be my work planner, but I also will have fun in this planner. So now I haven't decided if I'm going to Franken plan, if I'm going to do a transformer kind of thing. I don't think I'm going to do a transformer thing. I like both of these covers actually so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that um, I probably will wind up moving pages from this into this and maybe switching back and forth between the covers because I really like both of them equally so we'll see but I'm gonna Do a quick flip show and tell. Get all the packaging out of the way for that part. So this is the actual planner. Starts here. So I mean it's not come let's move this out of the way. It's not completely neutral. It's got a light blue, black and white of course, and pink and rose gold but the blue is so light that it almost looks gray so it's not too bad because I like my planners to be neutral if you're adding stickers and color to them I don't understand why I would want to cover up all the color to make it's just a whole thing I just don't like having to cover things up so if you start out with something neutral then you don't have to do all that so also a good thing about this one as you can see it doesn't have the shaded weekends um, and it doesn't have the shaded weekends on the month either so and it's just very pretty light easy to coordinate with any color at least I think so so and this is what the dashboards look like very simple so I just like the color basic 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 mm -hmm. and here's October November see as you can see it's very neutral very calm some might say dull but that's okay because I'll brighten it up with whatever stickers I use so then I have this one which is one of the girl planners it's the super mom but I changed the cover from 
the black and white one because I wanted these black metal discs. So I had to change the cover. So let's remove this and this. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's very colorful, which is not my favorite thing. But I figured it would be perfect for social media, and here's why. It has these shaded weekends, which I don't like, but... <laughs> um, it has the whole week on one page, which is good. Um, the to buy, the errands, calls, bills, I can easily use a header to change those to what I need them to be. And really, these could also still be related to business. And social media is a part of the business. It's just that I felt that it was too much information to have in my business or work planner, if that makes any sense. So, again... Most likely, I'll combine these in some way. Either it'll be a Franken-Plan kind of thing or a Transformer. And I'm thinking Transformer because Franken or some form of Transformer. I don't really like the Franken-Planner thing where you glue the pages and all of that. I don't want to have to do all of that. So, but this is what I'll be using and it may turn out to also be my YouTube planner along with the other social media. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. I'm still writing down how I want everything to work together. But this is where I'm starting. These are my base pieces. Then I also have this undated extension pack. So if I need, I can add to either one or use in my notebook. And then I also picked up this cover to use on my current notebook which is the hot pink I just wanted to change the cover I don't know I just like a more neutral look for it so this is what I'll be using and the discs are still here because I'll be using these on my arc notebook to turn it into a planner and I needed larger discs so this is the beginnings of my 2019 planner setup I will be back with an update and show you where I am okay so I'm back and I think I've mostly decided what planners I'm going to be using for 2019 um, it's gonna, I'm gonna start with the big pile first the larger planners this is so this is an 18 month recollections planner um, I got this when I found out I had some medical issues and I don't really want to talk about that here I'm thinking I may do a special video focus focusing on that but anyway I got this as a way to track what was going on I mean I'm not really I'm not really doing any decorating in this. It's just really just maybe a little hand lettering and writing down appointments and, and other information. Um, for a period of time, I stopped using it for a couple of months because I was just not feeling well and was really too lazy to, <laughs> to write anything down. But I'm back to using it again. So... I will continue using this um, I heard this on another video I'll continue using this kind of as a mind body and soul planner so instead of just health problems I'll make note of how I'm feeling different symptoms things like that and also just kind of as a journaling type thing just for me so I have that one and this is a recollections planner um, I think it was in the line that came out over the summer but yeah for the purpose that I got it for it's working great it's just up to me to actually use it then this is just my regular notebook I did change the cover I had the hot pink 
snap on cover on this and I did change it these are the gold expanded discs so this isn't really a planner it's just a notebook and this folder I made for this notebook um, the template is available on my website at scrapcraftastic.com but as you can see it's really messy <laughs> I just kind of throw things in here take notes just I have all different types of paper in here um, and just whenever I have ideas or things in my mind I just jot them down and this is mostly for my businesses so that's one of the planners or notebooks I will be using for 2019 I'll continue using that and I like that I can change up the look of it make it look like something completely different by just changing the cover but it's still all the same information on the inside so and then this is I haven't decided exactly how I want to use this one I thought I had it all worked out in my mind but maybe I don't <laughs> um, this is actually what they're calling a transformer planner now this is two planners in one but this is the think dream plan version I've already scarred up the cover as you can see I don't know what I did but anyway so I have the first six months in here this again is another folder that I made and then so this is how it looks so this is the front this is the back of that one then I can flip it over to the mom planner which is here and it has the first six months as well actually it has the first seven months in here so I didn't take July out and it has why did I leave December I didn't mean to leave December I need to take that out and it also has the extras in here so yeah I don't know why I left December but I will take that out and so I have the mom planner now my original intent was to use the neutral planner for business and to use the mom planner for social media yeah and then I could use the monthly view in the mom planner for an editorial calendar I really want to get good use out of my happy planners this year so last year it kind of just sat on the shelf this year I really want to get use out of them so I don't know I think I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to use this because since I do from scratch spreads also so anyway I'm still deciding on those items planners. so okay. I have that then I have let's move to the smaller ones around oh and if you want to know how to do the transformer planner I will link to a video below to show you how to do that um, this is not my original idea by the way I just thought it was a pretty good idea if you want to combine planners and it saves from gluing pages together and all that stuff okay so this is a cover from so what else is new what I have in here is my 2018 Hobonichi I have not switched over yet because it's the third the last day of the year so I'm still using it right now but I will be I do have a 2019 Hobonichi that I will be using and yeah this I use just to jot down notes from throughout my day I don't have the best of memories so I like to kind of keep I like to keep notes of what happened during the day so this goes in my purse and I may get a, le a leather cover for this from Mystic's Little Gifts so far I've been using it pretty um, regular since October November um, I did take a break from it for a while I took a break from everything for a while while I was sick sicker so but I'm back to using it and carrying it every day in my purse um, 
Next, I don't know how I'm going to use these. These are both B6. This is the B6 rings. Again, I hope to get a leather uh, B6 rings from Mystic's Little Gifts. I just haven't done it yet. And then this is a B6 Traveler's Notebook. And being that I design inserts, I like to actually use what I design as well. I'm just not sure how I want to use these notebooks. Um, this is set up from using earlier in the year and last year and I do want to move back in this I just not, I, I don't know what I'm going to use it for and I don't want to just put my inserts in here but I have some decisions to make but I definitely want this to be included as part of my lineup and as an option of something that I would use if I decide to move out of something else. And then, of course, the B6 rings I think would be a good idea to use. Um, I was just playing around with the layout for this and I really need to finish setting it up. I just don't know how I want to set it up. Really, I'm a personal size. Um, when it comes to rings and traveler's notebooks but I'm so I'm trying to wait until Mystic's Little Gifts starts offering um, personal rings and then I'll get a personal rings and a personal traveler's notebook because I think these are a little big for me now since I'm using such big planners I don't know I'm just kinda talking this through trying to figure out exactly how I want to do things what I want to do but for now these Four, with the exception of this one happy planner I'm still waffling on how to use it but it definitely will be used are the ones that I'm using for the year these two I'm still working on but I need to incorporate them because I need to use my own inserts at least I feel like I do I mean it's already to the point where I don't think most people even know that I design inserts because I've done from scratch spreads so much um, but the from scratch spreads usually give me ideas on how to make different inserts so anyway moving right along I just recently picked up these two notebooks this isn't really planning it's more of creative journaling um, but but I plan to use this for art journal pages and planner spreads my from scratch spreads so either I'll use this one or this one most of the time I'll probably be in the smaller version and it's just dot grid paper which is usually what I do my from scratch spreads on I know everyone is used to me doing disc bound um, travelers notebook and rings from scratch spreads but I want my from scratch spreads to be more of memory keeping now so. because in the past I've planned a little in the B6 traveler's notebook then I might switch to a standard then I might switch to A5 and per well I don't think I've done many from scratch on personal size but I mean I've switched around throughout the year so this year for 2019 I want to do everything in one book so when December 31st 2019 rolls around I can just flip through well it may end up being two books but the same type of book when in the year rolls around I want to be able to just flip through all of what I have done throughout the year if that makes any sense and that includes if I feel like I just want an art journal on the page do that if I feel like I want to do a planner spread, do that. If I just want to journal, do that. So it's kind of a bullet journal. But again, like I said in the haul video for this, I don't want this to be a bullet journal tr traditionally because I don't want to be tied to having to do a certain type of spread. This is just going to be my style, if that makes any sense. Because I don't want people that are new to bullet journaling or planning to feel like this is the way you have to do it you can do things however you want to do it and that's the way I'm gonna do it because I don't want to feel tied to doing things the way the planner community expects me to do them because that's just not me so anyway 
these are what I'm working with these I'm still not sure if you have any suggestions please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think and I mean really I could use these to demonstrate things that I make I was thinking of that too just to do demos with I don't know like for templates and things like that we'll see but for now this is what I'm working with I wanted to ask this I do have a black one of these and aesthetically <laughs> it does look better with the other planners that I'm using um, which one do you think I should use should I use the black one or the gray one because I'll generally keep this like this if I can figure out how to get that off of the cover so this is what I would be working with they're all black besides this is pink but this would really be more like a it wouldn't be used regularly so I don't know black or gray what do you think and then we have Beauty and the Beast which is mostly black so let me know what you think in the comments below if you have any questions let me know um, I think that's it I've rambled on long enough so also in the comments below let me know which planners you're using for 2019 so that's it for now if you have any other questions or comments please let me know thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye